the fact that all food is grown on a farm by a person um, and takes a lot of work and uh, it, it, it's really hard. There's not a whole lot of compensation in that, but for uh, people to come out and see the farm, see how uh, food is produced, is a, um, it's an important part of the cycle. My name is Monica Welch and I own Dinner on the Farm. My name is Dana Burtness and I'm the owner of Laughing Moon Farm. Hi, my name is uh, Ben Jacoby and I'm the executive chef at the Craftsman Restaurant in Minneapolis. I started Dinner on the Farm in 2009, so this is our fourth summer season of dinners. Some of the uh, beautiful farmland you can see here is, is land that I rent. I'm part of Seeds Farm, which is a really awesome incubator, supportive uh, project, which is just a mile south of Northfield, Minnesota. My personal food philosophy comes from uh, all the restaurants that I've uh, learned to cook at and uh, all the chefs that I've worked with in the past. And it's always been about uh, fresh quality ingredients, sustainability, um, and starting with something good uh, to make something great. These dinner on the farm events are just so fun for farmers to do and I hope they're fun for everyone who gets to come and enjoy a tour and really great locally brewed beer and of course really good ingredients from the farm itself. I feel that it's really important to be able to make really good choices when you're um, talking about eating something that you do three times a day. Um, you really have a chance to um, make choices that affect your local economy, local farmers, local restaurants, um, and just the local food system in general. This is a great way for people to come out and have a really great time and meet some farmers and meet their neighbors and meet other people who are into, into food. When people get to dinner on the farm, um, they get to have a beer from a local brewery and kind of settle in, put their picnic blanket or their chair out and um, just kind of mingle with other people that are here. And then the farmer leads a farm tour where they, it's about 20 minutes where they go around and explain what they grow, how they grow it, um, different practices that they use and why they feel that that's important. And then everyone comes back and we have dinner from um, a local chef that grew, uh, cooks things right from the farm, that are grown on the farm. And we have a, a band that plays live music during dinner. And then after dinner, we have a little bonfire. People can just hang out and um, connect with other people that are interested in local food. Tonight, we will be um, serving uh, two kinds of potato salad, a summer vegetable, and then kind of a classic uh, dill and cucumber potato salad. Um, then we have uh, caponata, which is a uh, roasted uh, vegetable uh, medley with vinegar and olives and uh, some dried fruit of some sort. And then uh, we have marinated vegetables. And then we have chicken from uh, Monica's farm. And then we have a uh, grilled porchetta, which is also uh, fresh. It was a uh, ham from half a pig I got from a local, local pig farmer, Hidden Streams. And then uh, we just have some fresh bread and uh, some uh, a couple uh, cured meats to go with all that. I guess I hope uh, people get a couple things out of these Dinner on the Farm events. Uh, specifically, I, I hope they learn a little bit about what it takes to grow good, healthy food in a sustainable, organic manner. And then I guess on a bigger picture, just maybe a renewed excitement about food. Uh, that's what I hope people get, and renewed excitement about farming in rural areas and um, hopefully it'll just, you never know how events are going to make people connect things in their mind, but that's kind of what I'm hoping for. And what I hope to see is just them thinking about going to a farmer's market, thinking about uh, buying a product that's in season, you know, um, buying stuff that's fresh, knowing what's fresh. Uh, so often people um, what used to be natural to us, knowing when to pick an apple or when to pick an orange or when to pick a particular kind of vegetable, was everybody knew it. And now you go to the grocery store and half the people who are picking, sorting through the vegetables don't know what to get. I really hope when people leave a dinner on the farm event, they feel like they had a good chance to connect with 
uh, the land that their food is grown on, the people that are growing the food, the nonprofits that we're supporting. I hope they get to know some new restaurants and breweries so they can support them as well. And I hope they just feel like they had a really great time in a unique setting.